Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in Yamato and we're on Haven. And I think that we're about to play what I can only describe as possibly a perfect game. Now, what do I mean by perfect game? There are a lot of things, a lot of factors that go into a quote unquote perfect game. But I think that a perfect game, in my opinion, is when you spawn in on your flank or whatever, and you do everything right on that flank. If you did anything differently, then maybe things would have turned out differently. But for whatever reason, everything that you did in the moment ended up being the right decision at the right time to come out with the ideal result, right? It's not something that happens very often, believe it or not. But we're going to push forward. We've got a destroyer out here. We've got a cruiser out here. And there are a lot of destroyers in this lobby. Now, when you consider that half of this lobby is is destroyers, uh, the amount of damage that I'm going to put up is actually that much more impressive. Uh, just due to the fact that there's not that much HP in this lobby. Right? There's one cruiser, four battleships, and four destroyers. That's it. So... Uh, we're going to try to push out on this left flank initially. You can see I'm looking for any potential crossfires if anybody gets spotted. Uh, we don't have the range to shoot that guy, unfortunately, so we don't even get to see him. But um, as our destroyer pushes up, we're also going to be trying to pay attention to the fact that somebody could potentially get spotted in the middle. So as my destroyers are pushing in, you can see I'm looking at the, the spot where I know that people are likely to spawn, and I am turning out already. Now, this cruiser next to me is probably thinking, Well, what are you doing, you stupid battleship captain? Well, I was driving here. Yeah, well, it's because I know that there are people that spawn there, and I'm not an idiot, so I'm already turning to avoid them because I'm spotted. Just a thought, right? So, again, he may have thought that I was uh, being a jerk at, initially, but uh, he definitely understands after the, the salvos that were sent our direction that, you know, probably not the best positioning early on and that's why it is so important to give other people room especially battleships man battleships need oh my god my no what are you doing you silly duck don't you understand what i am hold these wait for it bonk <laughs> is there any other guaranteed death strike like a mino very few ships in the game that are just guaranteed to be death strikes right but, uh, yeah, we're already at 48,000 damage, and there goes their one cruiser they had. And again, this guy behind me in this cruiser is probably going, Dude, what am I doing wrong here? Uh, I mean, I'm trying, and you can see I'm actually slowing down to let this cruiser go around me right now. I'm like, okay, dude, just go around, do what you're going to do, and then I will try to play my game. I just can't play my game and deal with you at the same time. I also know that there's a Yamato right here, too, so I don't want to just go, like, full-on committing to the turn when I could be spotted again and taken out because we all know what happens to a, a uh, Yamato when it gets caught broadside so when I when I finally get to a point where I'm thinking okay maybe we're not gonna get shot I'm gonna go ahead and start committing to the turret now the Yamato is here and of course I fire my guns the destroyers are actually behind me I didn't know this at the time but the destroyers are actually behind me and uh, they get me spotted so I still can't commit to this turn because I know full well that this Yama is gonna shoot me and look at that accuracy he doesn't get a citadel, but he actually slaps me pretty good here. Um, now, we knew that was going to be a thing, so we, we want to be careful. But uh, we keep firing our guns, and if there was one thing that I could say maybe we could have done differently here, it would be to hold our fire. But we're going, we're getting damage. It's not like we're not slapping the ever-living crap out of this Yamato. We've removed a good chunk off of his health point or his hit points, and it forces him to go behind the island at this point, right? So now we've run into the edge of the map and are able to start turning in. Now, uh, the Heizen or Heizen over here isn't paying attention. So we're going to go ahead and start focusing him down. Now that Yama's out of play, we don't have to worry about getting shot by him. So we can start focusing the rest of the team down. And we get a pretty good result here shooting at the Heizen as he pushes in a little bit too aggressively. Um, now, as we, we don't want to stay on the border, right? Because we're getting slowed down, we're broadside in the Yama. If we get spotted at this point, like, we could absolutely get neutered. Uh, so we want to get off the border, get our nose pointed back towards the enemy, and start moving again. 
so that we could actually like have some ability to tank some damage without just giving up everything. But uh, you can see the torpedoes are on the way for the Heisen or Heisen. I, I don't know how you pronounce that one, but uh, he manages to avoid the torpedoes initially. But as he's going behind the island, he takes one and uh, we get the shot off just in time. And this shot looks nasty straight out of the guns. That looked like it was going to hurt. And, uh, yeah, I think, him, I think we can confirm it hurt. <laughs> That's what we were trying to avoid from our perspective, right? Like, when we were trying to come off the border, that's what we were trying to avoid. Uh, obviously, him being forced to turn away from those torpedoes was, was massive. We've got a destroyer in their cap already. And their battleships are not even bothering to try to go back and do anything about it. So uh, we're going to take full advantage of the fact that these guys are actually turning. Uh, the Repub looks like he might be turning to go back. And so we catch him only with two shells, but 10,000 damage. Knowing that we got destroyers near us, we've got to be a little bit more careful. Obviously, we've got a destroyer all the way out on the flank. I don't know what that guy's doing. Um, but at least he's spotting at the moment. And then the cruiser that's next to me, he could, all, he could absolutely help get rid of these destroyers that are near us uh, in the pinch. But uh, we take another shot at the Repub as he's running away, and we absolutely clap him from behind. I just completely clapped him. And so he's got very little health left. Yama's about to make the, the classic Yama mistake of just coming around the corner way over angled. And so uh, we've got the guns ready to go. We fire. All we got to do is go through the cheek and bonk. Now, he does get a good hit on us, but notice he only hits us for 15. Uh, he got three full pens for 15k. I got, what, one Citadel for for at least that, okay? And then as he's pushing towards me, this is already a foregone conclusion. I fired first, so he's not going to beat my reload. And we're going to punch straight through his cheek and finish that man off. He does actually get a reload off, but uh, unfortunately for him, it was just a teeny bit too late. But uh, we're at 176,000 damage left. We still got a repub out here who's pretty healthy. He's managed to heal some of this back. So we're going to be able to use the island now to sneak up on this guy. We also have the, the destroyers going ham in the cap. Got to give the, the credit where credit is due. This repub going back and defending the cap was actually the right thing to do. Uh, but unfortunately for him, he's also just he's surrounded. Our Z-52 goes down because he doesn't understand when he should and shouldn't be fighting. Uh, again, if you're outnumbered, get the heck out of there, man. There's no reason to stay in and fight that. Like, you've got the rest of your team. You could be throwing the game. And right now, we're losing this match. Uh, we're winning on points because he was in the cap for, for a while. But we're actually losing on the fact that they have more ships than us. And when you consider we only have one destroyer and they have three, that's a huge advantage to them. Now, fortunately, my RNG was on points, so we managed to take out the, uh, the battleship. And we are pushing ourselves back towards the enemy. Now, we have one battleship leaving the right flank to come back towards our cap to defend, which is actually a great idea, considering there are three destroyers. Knowing that two or three of the destroyers, last known, was roughly in their cap, we can kind of get an idea of where these guys are. Now, this is where I'm going to start to get a little bit frustrated, because the guys on my left have really done nothing. I mean, they've spotted. I'll give the destroyers uh, credit for spotting, but the... the Cruiser really hasn't done a whole heck of a lot, and that destroyer really hasn't done a whole heck of a lot. And it's right at this point where I'm like, I'm going to get into chat and be like, guys, there is absolutely no reason you guys should be that far away. I'm going to need you up close and personal. This game could come down to the wire, and when we're being hunted by... Oh, hello, Montana. How are you doing? That is a beautiful broadside you're given. He recognizes it a little bit too late, but again, our RNG was absolutely on point, and he just gets smashed. And we've already got the rear turret of justice out there as well to go ahead and finish him off. And, of course, that's the one that decides to miss. Now, because we changed course, uh, we, do we dodged the torpedoes pretty easily. The battleship that's coming in from our cap is actually in a position where he can easily get uh, countered by the destroyer. And there is the Kaba. So, Kaba runs straight into our battleship. Uh, our battleship is going to slap the ever-living crap out of him. And I'm trying to put myself in a position where I can help him. As the Kaba goes in, he knows he's going to take a boatload of damage straight through the bow, and he does. That that Yama probably just landed every single shell on that Kaba. So if you're the Kaba, you got to feel some type of way about that. But it doesn't matter if you feel some type of way about that, because you've got a second 
Yama that's in position to uh, slap the crap out of you here, and I've had great RNG the entire game. So down he goes. And that's when the gearing decides to show up, and my secondaries are able to snipe him before I even have a chance to realize he's really there. Like, I recognized that he was there, but as soon as it, I looked, I saw, I saw the secondaries, I'm like, ah, there we go. So we pick up the Kraken Unleashed. We got the Close Quarters. We dodge his torpedoes because everybody launches on the white line, and now the now the guy decides to radar. Go figure. But uh, the last the last destroyer is headed towards our battleship. Uh, everybody's trying to shoot him, but they don't have, have a position really to do much about it. Yama manages to land a pretty solid hit on him, and this game is over. Uh, Two hundred twenty-seven thousand damage. Uh, we got a double strike in there. We got our high caliber. We got a dev strike. We got a first blood. We got the quacking unleashed. Little little quacking. I can't do it this morning. My my voice is gone. I've been streaming to streaming all night with American Truck Sim, so uh, my voice is gone. So I can't do the cracking. But uh, but yeah, we we had a great game. Like that was a that was a freaking ridiculous game. Um, and honestly, the the XP didn't didn't really showcase that because uh, two hundred twenty seven thousand damage with all the medals, and we get just three thousand with a six pack. By the way, that was a six pack. Just gonna throw that in there. But uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Did I play basically a perfect game? Were there a couple of moments there that I maybe gave up the perfect game? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.